Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Eva Berg. I'm a certified nutrition health coach and today I would like to show you how you can make an easy and delicious potato soup in the new Fruzy Evolve blender. It is going to be a chunky potato soup and there are different options of doing it. Uh, you can either just use the chunky soup pre of the Fruzy Evolve and you can add all the ingredients straight away. All will be blended, but it will leave a couple of chunks in it. But today I saw I would like to show you the steaming option, which will also leave us with a few more defined pieces in it. So I'm going to chop this up, put it into the little steaming basket, steam it for 15 minutes. So now we're simply going to turn it on, select the steam function, it's one of the preset functions, and it's already set to 15 minutes by default and now it's steaming away and we can prepare the rest of the food. Don't worry if you haven't caught the measurement, but they will all be below in the comments. I'll put the full recipe there. So I'm getting a towel to take the steaming basket out. And as you can see, the water has turned slightly green, so some of the vitamins and nutrients have leached into the water. That's why I don't want to get rid of it. We are just going to give it a quick uh, pulse in the blender. So I've got some leftover leeks and some onion. I'll put it in here. It goes back on. Now I'm going to add a knob of butter. So now I'm going to set the temperature to about 100 degrees. So now the onions are nicely softened. So now we're adding in the potatoes. And I'm going to reuse um, the water that we've used for the steaming. I just want to make it this tiny bit richer, so I'm going to add a bit of fresh cream, a little bit of pepper, and now it's time for our steamed vegetables to go back in. Now I'm just going to reheat it for another two minutes to be sure that those vegetables are warm as well. Nice and hot. Mmm, smells delicious. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope this was helpful. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.